Our goal in all forms of writing should always be clarity. It needs to be important that our writing is clear. We want to share our ideas to our readers in a clear manner. Mathematics is actually quite confusing enough, even for mathematicians at times, right? So we don't want to make our writing any worse by making it more unclear when the topics themselves are challenging enough. Now, one way we can make our writing more confusing is when we introduce mathematical symbols we don't actually need. Um, the symbols, every time we introduce a mathematical symbol, it adds to the cognitive load of the reader. And is that a good thing or a bad thing? It depends how we're using it. Um, when we add symbols, we have to be adding them to try to add to the clarity and not lose the clarity. And so therefore, my advice to you in this video is to avoid using unnecessary symbols. Don't make the, the mathematical waters more money than they already are. So let me give you an example of such a thing. Um, so let's consider the sentence, no set X has a negative cardinality. Okay, so let's focus on this mathematical symbol X. Why did I introduce the symbol X right here? Um, if I'm only trying to describe a generic set, then I probably didn't need the mathematical symbol. Um, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna reference this generic set in the future, and like and I should say the immediate future, like I'm gonna talk about X in the next sentence again, then sure, by all means we could introduce the set X. And so for the rest of the paragraph, when I talk about X, you realize I'm talking about just some generic set right here. But if I'm if, if that's the case, then it's appropriate to use the symbol. It's it's necessary to help simplify later on. But if I'm just trying to make a statement about sets that no set has a negative cardinality, like this sentence right here, notice the sentence makes just as much sense without the symbol X. And in fact, you could argue it's more clear because I don't need a specific set X in mind here when I'm talking about a universal sentence about sets. So I think it's it's probably clear in this example that without the symbol, I have the same meaning. And in fact, it's clearer because I'm not introducing a new mathematical symbol that I don't actually need. And so try to avoid unnecessary symbols. If you can do it with words alone, do it. Um, use symbols when precision is necessary or when appropriate abbreviations are necessary. Don't introduce a symbol just because you think you need to, because in this case, you don't. And now, with this video now complete, that brings us to the end of lecture 20 in our lecture series. Thanks for watching. If you learned anything in this video or these videos for this lesson, please like these videos. Um, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like, in this, like this in the future. Share these videos with friends if they're interested as well. And as always, feel free to post your comments, uh, your questions in the comments below, and I'll be glad to answer them as soon as I can.